Hello friends, Tanya here for Trinity Stamps and today we are going to do a rainbow of ice cream. This was a stamp and stencil set that was released last summer. This is the Little Layered Ice Cream uh, Stencil and Coordinating Dies and it is adorable. We've got the base for the ice cream itself and the cone, and then some detail layers. And you're gonna see a whole bunch of Distress Oxide inks used here. I was initially just going to do a pink, a yellow, and a green, but then I decided I needed a full rainbow. I'm going to show you these stencils for one color of ink for each component. And I'm using Saltwater Taffy, Worn Lipstick, Gathered Twigs, and frayed burlap, I believe it is. No, gathered twigs and um, brushed corduroy are the colors I used for the cones. And then I end up using a whole array of Distress Oxide inks to do all of the different colors of ice cream. I don't know if you know this, but June is Pride Month. And so that means I really needed to start this month with a bang with some rainbow uh, projects. And why not pair it up with a delicious treat? It is definitely ice cream season today. I um, ha There is a local ice cream shop here that has ice creams in these colors. They are gourmet and delicious. The orange is carrot mango sorbet, I believe, and it is so good. Oh my gosh, so good. No, it's mango, carrot mango gelato. Yes. Anyway, back to the project. I am using some uh, craft colored cardstock and some very light peachy pink cardstock with the dainty slimline layers, uh, dainty scallop in the slimline, and the quilted in the slimline sized, and the modern embossed uh, layers uh, in the slimline size. We also have a whole bunch of extra pieces cut to layer behind our individual ice cream cones, which we used the coordinating die to die cut. Now that die set has the um, components to cut out the ice cream cone without the layer or without the white border. So you could just use it individually and it impresses the cone in it. And then there are two different layers for the ice cream cone itself. So you could layer these in a whole variety of ways. I love the versatility that offers. And there are also some, there's also a die that's a drop out die or a fallout piece die that creates the sentiment that you can add to the actual scoop of ice cream. So now that we have added layers behind all, extra cardstock behind all of our different layers, including the dainty scallop, and the modern embossed and quilted die, uh, die cut panels. And that quilted panel, I cut it with the quilted die first and then use the modern embossed edges die to cut a layer that fits inside the dainty scallop. Now I'm lining up these ice cream cones in rainbow order and adhering them onto our card front. Now they are, they fit the top to bottom of this card almost perfectly and I almost can't get all six of these to make it across the front of the card but with some creative layering I do manage to make that work and we have a full rainbow now the last one I don't get quite evenly lined up but that's okay I think you'll forgive me um, I'll try to remember the colors of ink that I used on each of these layers. So the pink was um, saltwater taffy and worn lipstick. The orange is, um, is that dried marigold and spiced marmalade? Yes. The yellow is squeezed lemonade and mustard seed. The green is cracked pistachio and evergreen bow. The blue is salvage patina and peacock feathers. And the purple is a little bit of an interesting combination. It is seedless preserves and aged mahogany. Now the inside of the card is my other effort 
uh, with a purple. And that's Seedless Preserves and Wilted Violet. I liked this version best, the Aged Mahogany. It's a little more subtle, not quite as in your face. And you can see the difference here with the Wilted Violet over the Seedless Preserves. It's not terrible. It's just a little more um, drastic. Next, we're going to take one of these layering circle dies and the fallout letter piece, some glitter cardstock, and that same cardstock we used with the quilted layer, and create this beautiful sentiment element. I'm going to glue the glitter part to the uh, peachy cardstock, and the reason I chose that is because it's a lot easier to glue the glitter paper to the cardstock layer than it is the cardstock layer to the glitter element. That is purely why I did that. Now I did decide to take the, the um, inside pieces of these letters and glue them into this element so it's a true so it gives us all of the elements of the letters and makes it just a little easier to read but um, yeah that that took longer than I expected it to take. You could certainly skip that and you can see that you still have all of these fallout letters to use on another project. And there it is all complete, nice and shimmery. We'll add a little bit of glue behind that and find a good spot for it on our card front. That completes the die cutting of this and now we're going to pull out something I haven't used yet the transparent sparkle enamel dots these are really pretty there's a holographic version also and I'm trying to pick them up with my pickup stick but um, I think you need a little pointier one so I ended up just bending the sheet a little bit and getting the pickup stick point underneath those and I'm using the three smallest of the sizes. I think there's only one size bigger. I think there's four sizes of enamel dots on here. And these do stick pretty well. They do have a beautiful sparkle in them. And I thought that worked perfectly with our sparkly round sentiment element, almost centered exactly in the front of the card. We're going to do a smattering on each side of our element, our uh, not element, our sentiment. And that completes the card for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done that. Check that description below, box below for all of the supplies that I used today. And leave me a comment. Let me know what your, what your favorite ice cream flavor is. Until next time, here are a couple more videos I thought you might enjoy. Bye-bye.